I think for everybody that has worked on the project, Hob has been seen as an opportunity to stretch a little bit, to uh, go outside the fantasy genre, is a little bit more about just trying to create a beautiful alien landscape. My goal with what I want to do with this soundtrack is to combine the mushy, rubbery textures that you get out of the fretless space, that you get out of the pedal steel, and that you can get out of the Moog guitar. And to try to mix those up, blend them, create this futuristic and rubbery, yet still pretty lead instrument with a composite of all those things. So this is a, a, fretless, uh, a fretless electric bass. And I thought, what a great instrument for conveying um, that kind of spacey. And a little bit 80s uh, uh, aesthetic. This bass has a very vocal quality and I'm kind of seeing it subconsciously as the voice of the main character uh, in Hop. So this is a Moog guitar, um, one of maybe 13 or 1400 created of this model. Uh, the cool thing about this is it does what electric guitarists have been dreaming of for 40 or 50 years or so, which is to take the power of feedback and actually have control over it without physically creating a, you know, a deafening 120 decibel noise that physically feeds back. You can get a lot of really cool textures that are kind of satisfyingly guitarish, but very spacey too. With this title, I really tried to emphasize uh, uh, musical shapes that are defined by stacking up fourths and fifths. Uh, more so than conflict, uh, resolution type uh, harmonics, I'm more trying to have just big floating shapes. The concept is to uh, explore something that has a more gentle approach, is a little bit more about exploring, a little more of that kind of uh, Mobius approach. Station.